Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. So today I'm actually going to take you on a little tour of my bedroom and show you how my daughter and I have been spending some time during this COVID-19 shelter in place and we have been organizing my makeup and so what I thought I would do is give you a little tour of my bedroom, kind of show you where we're at. We are not completed. I've got some cute little trays coming and such, but I thought, you know what? Let's go show you where we're at with our organization. And also you guys, quick little caveat, the lighting in my bedroom is not fantastic, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you. I lifted all the shades up. It'll be natural lighting, but it's a little bit of a gloomy day today. So we'll, we'll do this tour and kind of show you what's going on. And then we'll do an updated one, hopefully on a sunny day. So if you are interested in watching my sort of tour of my bedroom and organization of makeup, then let's go ahead and dive in. Okay guys, you are walking in to my bedroom and I'm trying to go slow. And then hi, here is so far, first I'll give you a little tour. So you come in and then these are sort of my organization. You'll see I have laundry. I am not the cleanest person in the world, so just be kind, don't judge. <laughs> that is Satchmo's little bed. I thought she might join us in here. And then I've got my Peloton over here, and then that is my bathroom, but I'm not ready to show you that. And then, we have got, I have another chest of drawers over here. And yep, you guys, here we go. I know some of you have asked for my perfume collection. Oh, little Satchmo bone, here we go. But we'll give you a little preview over here. And I do have a few more stuck in a different area. So again, I know, I'm a junkie. So over here, as far as organization, I have the Alex, the tall drawer. We're not gonna be opening those yet because we haven't quite organized like all the little samples and stuff like that. But this one is not completely filled. So just know that is not completely filled. And then on the top, I've got a little bit of like all my little perfume, little samples kind of on a little tray. And then over here, this is the new one. This is the Target one. And I don't like it as much as my Alex drawer. This is the one that I love. But because it is during COVID time, I'm not able to go. They weren't shipping it out to my zip code. Um, but it did look like they have it in stock at the store, but it's closed at the moment. So we went with this guy. And then over here, you guys, this is my little like Biologique Recherche. This is all my skincare. So my kind of tray of goodies that I rotate through. And then if you are familiar with Biologique, when you order, you'll get a bunch of samples and I kind of keep them over here. So this is kind of just my basic zone. And then in here, we've got a little bit more skincare in here that I'm either testing or just using up. This is kind of like the dregs of stuff that I need to kind of use up. So we've got that. And then down here, yep, you guys, we have a little bit more perfume, some body lotion, but basically we're kind of figuring out this area over here. And then we have got kind of more brush, more brushes, cotton pads and such in the first drawer. Then down here, I've got things that I'm testing out. So there's a drawer of things that I need to be testing. And then again, you guys, empty drawers, empty. Oops, this is just some boxes of rescue spa, but basically all of these are empty. That, then we've got the mirror. So this is the full length mirror. Oops, someone came to visit us. Here is Satchmo, let me see. Okay, she wants a belly rub. 
Satchmo wants a little belly rub. Say hello, sweetie. <laughs> so we've, she's coming to help us. Okay, so then over here on this drawer, if I were to recommend anything, I absolutely love these Alex drawers. These are the best. And sort of up here is kind of like my most worn things that I use every day. And then over here I have like a tray and like I usually rotate through like makeup that I'm using the most currently. So I've been using my Tom Ford sticks. Um, I got that new Dior um, eyeshadow, that Natasha Denona. These are just kind of like every day. And then over here I've got all of my um, kind of Stilo U, all my eyeliners and then so let's go through the drawers and i have to give zoe a little bit of credit oops Sachmo is here to help us again um zoe organized all this so first drawer is going to be chanel goodies and we're just kind of going through my different eye palettes foundations but basically we have a little chanel drawer and then the next drawer is Tom Ford. Now I know not everything is perfectly organized. I sometimes like to have the them facing up so I actually know what I'm looking for instead of them all facing down. Basically, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. So we have our Tom Ford over here and as I said we're still in the midst of doing this and then over here we've got some of my Charlotte items so we kind of combined those two drawers together and then third drawer here is all of my foundation so again please do not judge I am a foundation junkie but these are all of my face products and we kind of went through and got rid of some. And then again, there's a few that I was going to test. I heard, I did get this you guys, but I heard that it is really drying to the skin and irritating. So we skipped that, um, but there's just some things here. So face products. And then we have got kind of like powders and blushes. So we've got all of my favorite blushes here. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is making me laugh. She really wants attention. Um, so here we've got all that. Then we've kind of got my hourglass palettes. I still have not used this. This is making me laugh. It's almost too cute to open up. Let me just show you really quick. I ordered this last year and I have yet to use that, but is that the cutest thing ever? That's what they call museum makeup is when you buy things like this, but then they're too cute to use. So remind me to pull that guy out, but I did get it on sale. So we will put that back. Then we have got the next drawer in this one. We organized kind of like single shadows. So we've got all my favorite Chantecaille singles, my Victoria Beckham singles, my Hourglass sparkles, some of the Tom Ford cream shadows. And then the next one are all of my kind of sticks. My By Terry and my caviar sticks here and then we've got all of my mascaras and like I have this have an open kind of a backup of that and then here we've got my favorite uh, Victoria Beckham and then we've got all my awesome Surratt <laughs> and then we have got some Pat McGrath and then we've got some Pat McGrath, Surratt, and a little bit more Pat McGrath back here. 
We've got my rose palette. We actually should bring that up. Those are that. And then last drawer, we kind of made all of my lippy products. So clearly have enough lipstick for days on end. We organized this, but they kind of toppled over a little bit. Um, but we've got all of my lip liners right here. And then kind of lip glosses in these other areas over here. And then I've just kind of got like a few, like my face um, halos, and then my house of CH. These are the actual cases that you carry those in. So this so far is very organized. And then what we thought was just always kind of rotating like top shelf makeup, what I'm using more daily, and that would be included in this area. I need to figure out something for brushes, but this is kind of um, what they are. And don't worry, I am gonna clean them this weekend. And then these are like my most worn like lipsticks at the moment. Um, and then, so you guys, that there is Satchmo. Say hi, honey. <laughs> okay, one last belly. And then over here is my house of sillage little area over here with all my perfumes and little lipsticks. And I tend to just kind of wear, pick one out. Lately I have been wearing my Tierra, absolutely love that. But kind of perfume selection. Okay guys, so this is my messy bedroom. You're getting a little, I did clean it up for you though. So it is a, normally a little bit messier, but, <laughs> but this is our basic start to the organization. And what we are hoping is just sometimes I have things that I need to be testing and I tend to leave them downstairs and they kind of pile up to where I actually film. So we're gonna have some of the empty drawers down here this guy and we're gonna fill those up and just have those kind of ready to have kind of an area for testing of makeup and then again this drawer over here this one might go bye-bye I don't really this tends to just be a vehicle to stuff things in so as I said honestly this is stuff I don't even really want to show you I have jewelry up here like I have things that it can be organized in here so this is totally not filled up there's just like little odds and ends and to be honest I probably need to just go through and throw a bunch of stuff away so this might be going bye bye because I literally just use it to uh, you know dump things into it and that's not what we want we kind of I kind of want to move forward with more of a lean and mean operation so that would be the tour you guys we are slowly getting organized okay I hope that this was helpful as usual you guys if you have any kind of organizational tips or tricks for me let me know because I have lots of different strengths but organization is not one of them <laughs> oh, I wish it was um, but I want to give a little shout out to my daughter she really worked hard with me organizing all of this goodies and let's go say hi to her real quick can we say hi I'm just gonna say this is Zoe's room. I just wanna show you her creativeness. So this is her wall mural. Zoe is a little artist here. And then she has all of the pictures of her friends. She's like, don't tell me. <laughs> so her, this is just a little glimpse into Miss Zoe's room. You want to say hi? She's doing online school. <laughs> I was just saying how awesome you are for helping me. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little bedroom organizational tour. We will continue to work on this and we'll give you updated progress as we are kind of completing that. So, We've got about another month to go here as far as sheltering in place. So I still have time to be working on that project. Anyways, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will talk to you guys soon.